Hi guys and welcome to the video. Today we're going to look at performing a device check on the Draeger Oxylog 3000 Plus. The device check is a self-guided test of the machine where the operator is prompted to check certain aspects the machine can't do itself. You should perform a device check before every use if the breathing circuit was changed or at least once a week. Before starting, have the machine set up, plumbed to oxygen, plugged into wall power. For how to set up the Oxylog 3000 Plus for use, see my previous video, which I'll link at the end of this one. Once you're ready to go, the first step is to turn on the Oxylog by pressing the power button. To access the menu which contains the device check option, you need to press the rotary knob before the bar on the screen fills up. If done in time, you'll reach the following screen. Press the rotary knob to select the device check. Ensure you have the same hose type selected as the circuit attached to the Oxylog and then press the rotary knob to confirm. A few self-checks will then be performed by the machine. Once the self-checks are successful, the following screen will appear. On this screen, we check the knobs for the settings are moving freely and are accurately calibrated. Follow the prompts on the screen. We start with VT, or tidal volume. Then we move to respiration rate. Pmax or maximum pressure. And finally, FiO2 or fraction of inspired oxygen. Once the knobs are tested, we now check the machine's alarms. We start with the loudspeaker. If you can hear this sound, Press the rotary knob to confirm. Next is the alarm LEDs or lights. If the red and yellow lights are flashing, press the knob to confirm. Finally, we check the alarm buzzer. If you hear this sound, press the rotary knob. Following the alarm checks, the machine will run its own checks to ensure that everything is okay. I've recorded the whole process so that you can see how long it takes and what a normal device check looks like. If any faults are detected, the Oxylog interrupts the checks and displays the error on the screen. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. See you next time.